Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Marissa, if you haven't been to this channel before. Today, we are going to talk about New Year's resolutions, my goals for 2020, and maybe some things um, people make as unrealistic goals. So I find every time a new year hits, the gym is so busy in January, which good on you for going and wanting to be healthier but a lot of people's goals is to lose a certain amount of weight it's not just to go and be healthier to go and um extend their their life or something it's just they want to lose weight and they want to look better and that's not the purpose of um i don't know going to the gym and stuff you, you should be aiming towards a healthy lifestyle and your overall goal should just be to be healthier, eat healthier, and just get into that habit of overall being generally healthy. And everything will just come naturally. You don't need to set a goal of like, I want to lose 50 pounds or I want to weigh this much. Because that's just going to be so much harder when you don't reach it. you got to set smaller goals. A more, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to die. No, no, don't die. So, yeah, those goals just really aren't all that realistic. And um, they're hard to achieve. And you end up just giving up, quitting, and feeling bad because you couldn't do it yourself. you got to set different goals, have a different mindset, and you'll be able to achieve anything that you want. So, for my 2020 goals... Um, I kind of have a few little ones, there's not really any big ones, um, but I want to keep all of my grades above 75 this year. So this would be the semester that currently just started, and then the following fall semester. My next goal is to keep up with video making, keep up with YouTube, see where I can go, start building my business that I want. So I'm currently a applied human nutrition student. Overall, I want to be a health coach with my own business. So I'm going to become a personal trainer and I'd like to just build that up and um, start building my business. And so with that, I'm going to continue with YouTube videos and see where I can go from there. Next is to write something every day. So just whether it be anything that comes to my mind or at least just a highlight of my day. I don't know, I guess it's just a form of self-care. You just, you maybe get to connect with yourself better. You're building your spiritual wellness and just um, your gratitude, I guess. You're just, you're building a lot of things when you write stuff down that comes to mind and um, you just overall build a better mental well-being doing that. So that's another goal. I also want to be more environmentally mindful. So I do, I have a lot of um, zero waste items that I use, but there's still a lot of things that I think I need to work on and maybe a lot of people do, um, but I think I'm getting on the right track right now. My last goal is to continue bullet journaling. So last semester I had my whole month, four months plan set up pretty much except for like half of November wasn't done and my December wasn't done whenever I set it up before going into my semester um, and I used it quite a bit up until maybe October and I started a different way of keeping track of what was due and what I needed to do and I although I do love that new way that I made I would also like to stick with the bullet journaling as well. I'd like to have both. Again, bullet journal is just a therapeutic way of getting to know yourself and writing something down every day, like I said. So I'm hoping that I can keep that going throughout um, the semester and throughout this entire year, really. So those are my New Year's goals uh, for 2020. Uh, let me know down below what your guys' goals are. I would love to know and see what different people's goals are for this year. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.